Hi, this is a tutorial on how to import an object file into Python Pygame. The software you're going to need is FreeCAD, Blender, Python, Pygame, and OpenGL modules. First, uh, open your browser, type in Trostin Robotics Pinch Your Arm, and the first one that comes up is the Pinch Your Arm page, and they have really good documentation in here with all the CAD files and 3D models. Alright, so we're going to save these. All right, just save them to your computer here. And I'll put them in this folder that I've got on this external flash drive. Alright, and then we'll open it up. And these are all the solid models. And open this one, Pinterest Solid. And we'll open it with FreeCAD. If you don't have FreeCAD installed on your machine, go to your website. It's free. It's really good CAD. And um, they have, it's easy to install. It's really easy to use. So, okay, let's move this around here so we can get a look at it. There we go. Select the base. This is all the data for the base, the translations and center points and stuff. Okay, let's export it. And we want to export this as a mesh object file. And just put the path in. And nope, not wavefront. Ah, mesh. Yep. We'll name it base dot obj. Make sure you put the obj in. And then, okay, we'll select the shoulder. And we'll export that. Not wavefront mesh shoulder dot obj. All right. And we'll just keep saving these. Just keep doing that for every single one of those. Um, the bicep, bicep one, guide rail, gripper hand fixed, the gripper hand fixed one, the wrist, both biceps. And after you're all done, this is what it should look like. Okay, we've got vertexes and we've got faces, but we don't have any materials or normal. So this this could load, but we won't get the lighting right or anything like that. So what we'll do is we'll open up Blender. I use version 2.69. And then we'll just delete this cube and then we'll import the wavefront object file and we'll import the base here. Alright, it's really big, it's off the view. So alright, let's move it back here. Now we see it, let's select it by right clicking on it. Wait, hold on, let's make this a little bigger. Okay, right click on it, and then select the materials tab, and we'll name this robot. You can name it anything you want, but let's pick robot. Then we'll just pick a color. Red is a decent color. It shows up pretty good. Blue doesn't catch the light as well. And uh, white, white's good too. But All right, and then we'll go into edit mode, and we'll assign the color to the robot. Go back into object mode, and then we'll export this object file, wavefront object file. Let's name it base B for Blender. So base B dot OBJ, all right? Put that on our external flash drive, and we don't need modifiers, we don't need UVs, we need normals. We want to write the materials, so we need all that stuff. All right, and let's export it, and then import the shoulder object. We got that. Right click on it to select it. We want to pick the same material, that robot material. And then go into edit mode to assign it. Then we'll just go back to object mode. And then we want to export that as a wavefront object file. And we'll name it shoulder slash B. And with this one, you want to make sure selection only is highlighted. If not, it'll send everything. So same as last time, I have selection only highlighted. And then we want to import this bicep. Just import it, select it, edit. Oh, we want the robot color. And then let's assign it. Boom. And then export it. And export that again. And then just keep doing that for everything. All right, now let's. After you're done doing it for each one of them, we'll just save this Blender file. 
just so we have it to refer to later. All right, save the Blender file, and that's it with all of them. It's just a whole lot of rinse and repeat. But what you should get now, when you open up those files, those object files, is all the vectors and the vector normals. You need those for the light and all the materials too. It just makes it load a lot easier into the Pi game. Okay, open up your browser again and type in Pi game object loader. It's the first thing that comes up is the Pi game wiki. And it has two programs in here. I'll open up Eclipse and the object loader is the name of the class so we'll just name this module object loader and we'll copy and paste all this copy paste and then we'll make another module we'll just name this one run and we'll come down here this is all the script that runs that Object Loader it imports OpenGL and basically it's just a lot of OpenGL commands. Okay, let's run it and see what happens. And we got an error. Okay, this re this is looking for an argument, but we're not going to pass our argument in like that. I'll just pass it in as a file name inside the script. So and we don't want to swap YZs. And we'll just change this to our base object file. And let's go up to the object loader. I'll just put a path variable in here. You don't have to do that. You can either put it all in the same file or deal with your path however you want to. But I, I'll just put this in so I can have them in separate paths. So my flash drive is here. And path for there and the path, path for the material file. Alright, there we go, it works. Um, it's going out of view though, so let's change this perspective to a thousand, so we got a bigger view. And there it is. Alright, the base loaded. Doesn't look too bad. It's not really centered up or anything, but... Okay, and let's copy and paste that. And we'll put all the other ones in. We'll put the shoulder in, <clears throat> put the bicep in, and just keep doing this for all of them. Bicep, bicep one, wrist, gripper rail, gripper, gripper one. You want them all separated like this so that, that um, you can move them all independently of each other. If you load it all as one big file, it would be really hard to move them separately but now we can move them all independently or we can chain the movements together so like you could just you could just move the base and not move anything else or you could chain all of them together so when you move the base everything moves and that makes it really easy when we go to do animation and stuff later on when you want to move it you chain them all together so when you move the base everything moves alright we'll just keep naming these G-Rail, Gripper Gripper 1, and we'll change this to base. We're going to have to load all of these. So, boom, oh, put a space in there, take that out. Copy and paste, boom, 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 and then we'll just put all the names in here. And then this GL call list, this is just loads the file, but um, the the list of all the vectors and stuff is in the object class under the GL list. So we'll just put all these in G Rail Gripper and Gripper One. Don't need that last one, so I'll just get rid of that. Delete that. Alright, let's run it and see what happens. And there it is. Boom, we did it. We're done. This is just a little bit of the program where I'm at on it. I've got a background object. It's just kind of rotating around like you're in space. 
and the robot is in a box here that's just a, piece, a picture of a piece of graph paper. And it can pick up objects, move them around, let them go. So it can pick up an object and move it. It doesn't have any of the collision detection stuff in there yet, so there's no collision, no safeties, no limits or anything like that. Um, I have that all done, I just haven't put it in yet. And the object doesn't fall, I have to put that in. Well, we're in space, I guess, so there's no gravity. <laughs> and that's about it. Um, yeah, here's you have to be have the object right behind between the grippers in order for it to pick them up. So, like right here, it's really close. It still won't pick up the object. It has to be right between the grippers. So, I have to make it so if it hit it with the outside of the grippers that it pushes the object. That's pretty easy to do. And that's about it. Alright, well that's how to load a object file, or actually a CAD drawing, convert it into an object file, and then load it into Pygame.